This is Classic FM. Just remember to really to breathe from the uh, the lower part Diaphragm, of the lungs yeah. as well, yeah. I haven't told many people about this, uh, but there's been a brassy blonde in my life for the last half century, very close to me. I love her dearly. She's quite small, only three or four feet tall, and that's only when her slide's fully extended. <laughs> it's my trombone. <laughs> See, I learned violin um, at school and I was absolutely useless. And then someone introduced me to trad jazz and I fell for it, hook, line and sinker. Um, and we decided to form a little jazz band at school. I decided to be trombone because I knew a boy at the school who had a trombone. He gave me basic lessons and I then asked my mum to buy me a trombone. And for reasons only known to her, she actually agreed and it's been my companion ever since. Except that for the last 45 years, and I'm not exaggerating, she hasn't come out of her box. I have not touched her, I have not played and, her. And really keep the shoulders down as well. Yes. But okay. that sounds great anyway. So. Okay. <laughs> And I was up in Liverpool last Christmas presenting their uh, Christmas Spirit of Christmas concerts. Um, and I was speaking to the brass boys in the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic. And I happened to let on that I kind of, sort of played the trombone. And they said, right, you are coming to Liverpool for Super Orchestra Day when amateur musicians sit in with the professionals. I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I can't play it anymore. The chops have gone, the lips gone. They said, We'll take care of that. And Simon Cowan, principal trombone with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic, bless his heart, gave me a trombone lesson a week or so ago. The first lesson I've had for 50 years. Do you know, I could still do it. I could still remember the slide positions. OK, the chops have gone, but he's given me exercises to do and I'm putting in about half an hour's practice every afternoon. You don't want to overdo it. And he's taught me the most important thing about trombone playing. In fact, about, about brass instrument playing, which I remember from all those years ago, is breathing. I don't want to hear any nonsense from stringed instrument players. They don't even have to bother to know how to breathe. That's easy. But we brass players have to know how to breathe. It's all in the breathing. And he's given me breathing exercises to do. He's given me playing exercises to do. And you know, it's actually coming along quite well. He's brave enough to be giving me a second lesson ahead of me sitting in with the trombone section of the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra for Super Orchestra Day in June. And you know, I cannot wait. It'll just be me and my girl, me and my brassy blonde. <laughs> Couldn't find the last note. <laughs> Pilot to the last note. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Good stuff.